Welcome. In this screencast, we'll look at how to add coupon codes to your Buy Now button. I covered how to add discounts to your Buy Now button in depth in a previous screencast. And what I'm going to show you does require some programming experience and is just one way to implement this feature. You definitely could take it further using Ajax, our button manager API, and a database. But for now, we'll focus on a simpler example. The code that you'll see today is available up on GitHub under the PayPal X handle. All you have to do is go to github.com forward slash PayPal X and look for the project called WPS dash coupon code. You can download a copy of the PHP file um, along with the other assets uh, if you want to um, follow along with me as I'm, I'm working on this or take the code and modify it and, and use it for your own projects. So we'll start by going over to our PayPal account. You'll log in and after you log in you'll want to click on the Merchant Services tab. You'll then go down and click on the Buy Now button. We'll want to give our item uh, a name. I'm calling mine uh, tie full price because we're selling ties today. I'll charge $50 for my tie. And I personally am not a fan of those credit card logos, so we'll get rid of those. Everything else looks good, so let's go ahead and create our button. And once we've created it, we want to select our button HTML and do a control C to copy that. And now I'm going to go over to my HTML editor. I'm using Dreamweaver today, but you can use whatever HTML editor you choose. And I'm going to scroll down the page and here we'll see something that looks pretty familiar. This is the button code from a previous button that I created. I'm going to make a little space and I'm going to paste my new button code in there. And the one thing you're going to notice about the button code up above is that it's got a little bit of PHP code right here and this is how I'm actually dynamically setting um, the hosted button ID. The button I just created has an, uh, has a value down here that I want to grab and set up at, uh, set up above as my uh, default or sort of the, the regular um, button that's going to show for somebody who doesn't have a, a discount yet. So I'm going to do a control X to uh, cut that value. And now it's in my clipboard. I'll scroll up to the top here and I'm going to paste it in between those quotes. Uh, so that my but hosted button ID variable is now equal to the new button I just created. Now I save my PHP file. I'm going to scroll back down here. Now, because you might have customized the look of your button, you probably don't want to use my button code, but you do want this little bit of PHP code. So I'm going to actually go in there, select it, do a control X to cut it and then paste it down here for my hosted button ID value. Let's do a control S to save my page. And the last thing I'm going to want to do is uh, delete that. That's looking good. And if I scroll back to the top, there's one more variable that I'm setting, which is the amount. This is how much I'm charging for my full price for this, for this tie. I'm going to set that to 50 because we're charging $50. Now, I want to test out my coupon code.php file to make sure everything's working now that I've put in my button ID and my amount. I'm actually running this locally on uh, a local server that runs PHP on my laptop. You could um, do that um, or you might want to have uh, upload this PHP file up to your website. Uh, but if you're not familiar with programming, you'll definitely want to have a developer help you out with this, uh, this part of uh, testing. Uh, I'm going to uh, refresh my, uh, my page and we'll see that it's coming out at $50. Um, I can click apply coupon, but since I don't actually have any uh, 
any coupon codes in there, it's not going to do anything for me. What we need to do now is actually go and create uh, two more buttons. One that's going to have a $5 discount and one that's going to have a $10 discount. So we'll go back to PayPal. We'll click on the Merchant Services tab. Instead of creating a new Buy Now button, we'll go to My Saved Buttons. And we'll do a little shortcut here. I don't want to uh, to uh, to do uh, five dollars off. I don't want to have to create my whole button uh, again. So I'm going to go to this new button I created, and I'm going to say Create Similar Button. And you'll see this, and you might say, well, why don't I just change the price from $50 to $45? You could do that, but it's not going to show up as an actual discount uh, when somebody checks out using the Buy Now button. What you'll want to do is go down to the Customize Advanced Features, and we'll say Add Advanced Variables, and we'll type in Discount underscore Amount, equals 5. You'll probably also want to uh, change the uh, the name of our item here so I'm going to say this is my tie and we're doing it for five dollars off. I'll scroll down here and I'll say create button. Now we want to grab this hosted button ID but PayPal likes me to select all my code, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to argue. I'm going to select it all. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to bounce over to my HTML editor. I'll go down to the bottom here, and I'll paste it. Now I go to my hosted button ID value. I'll do a Control x to cut it. It's in my clipboard now. And this is where we're going to paste it. What we have here is an array of coupon codes. Now an array is a collection of these key and value pairs. The key is equal to our coupon code and can be whatever you want. In this situation I'm adding two keys in my array. One key is called take 5 and the other is take 10. And the value for each of these keys is another array. So an array within an uh, 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 an array inside of an array is what we're doing, and in this array is uh, has two values inside of it. One is hosted button ID, which I'm going to now paste in there, and I've set the discount to be equal to five. I'll do a Control S to save that, and if I wanted to test that out, I could come back here, type in take five as my coupon code and click apply. Oops, I've got two buy now buttons. We don't want that. So I'll scroll down here and I'll delete this other button there. Save it. Go back here. Let's type take five again and say apply coupon. There we go. And now we have our buy now button. But the real test is going to be what happens when I click buy now. It's taking me over to PayPal and there we can see we have our tie five dollars off it's fifty dollars with a five dollar discount and if I go back here and I'll apply a non-existent coupon it brings me back to my fifty dollar full price and if I go to check out with my buy now button it shows me that I'm paying full price for my tie and it's fifty dollars now let's go back and we'll create one more button this time we're going to do $10 off. I'll go over to my saved buttons and I'll do another duplicate of my full priced tie. Create similar button. Let's change the name to $10 off. Scroll down, click on it, customize advanced features. Scroll to the bottom of that screen, click on the add advanced variables and put in discount underscore amount equal to 10. 
go ahead and click create for that button select the code do a control C to copy it we'll come over to our editor and we paste it now we do a control X to cut our hosted button ID from that form and we paste it up here inside of our array alright and let's not forget to go down here and delete this extra button code here so I've got my form here that has a value of coupon code and when I submit it I'm actually just posting back to the same PHP page coupon-code.php and what that does is it comes here and I loop over my array and I loop over each of my uh, items. I have two items. I have the take five and the take ten items in my array and I loop over each of them and I do a compare and I say if the key is equal to the coupon code that was posted that was entered then I want to grab the hosted button ID value and I want to grab the discount value and then I do a little math here where I take my amount fifty dollars and I subtract the discount and that's going to become my new amount and this last line of code here tells it to break out of my loop because I've found uh, a match and if we scroll down here I actually update the amount dynamically for my slick tie and I dynamically update my hosted button ID value down here. This is secure. Nobody can mess around and, and try and uh, put in a different discount because all the discount information is embedded inside of this hosted button ID. And that's it. Yeah, this is definitely a simple example, but I think it illustrates the fundamentals of how to use coupon codes and apply discounts. Remember, if you want to grab a copy of this code, just head over to github slash paypalx and look for the WPS dash coupon code project.